So I am making some chocolate syrup for chocolate milk. We just make our own. I do not buy it anymore. I used to because we love chocolate milk. But um, for the past several years, I've just been making it myself. Um, it's much healthier. You don't have the high fructose corn syrup and then the artificial flavors and colors and all that stuff. So let me show you what I use to put mine in. This is an old olive oil bottle, I think from, yeah, Bertoli, okay? I think it's a 25 ounce bottle and it is just the perfect size for this batch that I'm making for this particular recipe. And uh, you can see we are out of it, so that's what I use. And fill that 25 ounce bottle up. You need two and a half cups of water and you bring it to a boil and it is boiling now. Then you also need one cup of cocoa powder. I like to use about a half a cup of regular cocoa powder and half a cup of dark cocoa. That's what I like to use. So you take the cup, and I already have it measured out here. Once your water is boiling, you put it in you put your cocoa into the water and stir it up real good and you just let it boil for you know, a couple minutes and once it has boiled for a couple minutes then you add one cup of sugar Sorry. then you add one cup of sugar and then about a tablespoon and a half of vanilla extract So it is still boiling and I'm turning the heat down a little bit. This does taste different than Hershey's chocolate syrup. Um, this is good on its own. It makes good chocolate milk. Um, but it is not the same as store-bought. It is comparable and we really do like it. Uh, we used to go through a lot of Hershey's chocolate syrup. And then whenever I decided to switch and make our own, it's you know, we didn't have to get used to it. We didn't go, ooh, that's gross, and I'm like, well, you have to get used to it anyway. That didn't happen. We just automatically liked it. Um, we could tell a difference, but it was, it was good. And, okay. Now I'm going to add my cup of sugar. And my tablespoon and a half of vanilla. That's what it looks like so far, if you can see it. I don't know. Sometimes I like to add orange extract to it. Just a very small amount, just a drop or two because it helps to bring out that chocolate flavor. Um, I like it. So it's really hard to get just the right amount though. If you get too much, you can taste the orange. And uh, sometimes I get too much, and my husband is like, you put orange in this, didn't you? Yes. So, I hardly ever put it in there, but that is an option there. The original recipe, instead of the sugar, it calls for using like a sugar substitute, like a, a Truvia or Splenda, or I think it calls it a NutraSweet, maybe, I'm not sure. But we don't use any artificial sugars for anything. However, I did recently buy a Stevia plant. <laughs> We're going to see how that goes. Okay, so I have it all mixed up good, and it's looking really nice and creamy and smooth. I've got to wash out my bottle, and then I will funnel this into that bottle, put it in the fridge, and it is ready. I'll try to show you what it looks like.
bring the camera over there. See how creamy it, and smooth looking it is? It looks good and it does taste good. So thank you for watching.